subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update hello friends so in this video we discuss how to configure the ftp service in a kali linux machine so I'm, i will show you how to install the ftp and how to configure your ftp service inside a kali linux machine so first of all i'm going to start my kali linux machine okay i'm going to log in here i logged in now first of all i want to install the ftp service so check your internet connectivity so ping google.com so it's working let's update the ipt file so ipt get update so it will take a few seconds to get the updates from the online repositories about the package so package list has been updated now we install the F vsftp so command is apt get install vsftpd okay and uh, so it will take few seconds or a few minutes according to your internet speed So it's installing on your computer. So now it installs the successfully. Now let us start the configuration. So the configuration file of VSFTP will store inside your etc directory. So let's go inside the etc directory slash etc, and here the file name is VSFTPD dot conf. So I'm going to edit that file using the Vim editor. So I'm going to Vim VSFTP conf. Okay. So here is the file. So we need to modify some content of this file. So I'm going to in insert mode by pressing the I button. So now I'm insert mode. And now you need to enable this local. This one. okay and this one if you want to allow your users to upload the data on your ftp server so i'm allowing my users then if you want to allow you anonymous user so you can put the yes here so but i am not allowing uh, the unknown users so i'm just allow to my linux user to access the ftp server and Uh, upload or download the files okay so you need to enable the local enable uh, right enable then you need to enable some other like chu is where yeah this one cs root local user i want to allow this one and ch root list enable i i want to put my users in a, in a file okay and the location of that file so remember you need to you can copy this name we need to create a file inside it is using this name and in this file we specify our users who are allowed to access the ftp server okay after that you need to save this file so i'm saving using the wq now i'm going to create a file touch using the touch command then you need to define here your file name 
which allow you to allow your users so it's vsftpd dot chroot and there is go list so this is your file name vsftpd dot chroot underscore list so in this file we specify our users okay done now I want to allow a user so first of all I'm going to create a user account with like add user and the virtual lab okay so I'm setting the password is like password and there's no full name room number okay yes so this user has been created now we added that chroot list file and put anti virtual lab username inside that file so I'm going to edit that vsftp chroot go in set mode anti virtual lab ok and save this file now I'm going to start the vftp server so service vsftpd start now this service has been started now let's check what is the IP of my Kali I have config my IP is this 192.168.200.130 okay let's try to access this FTP server and try to upload some file there so you can download the other application on your Windows computer like the FileZilla FTP client FileZilla FTP client okay and try the IP address here 192.168 200.130 your username and your password and connect ok so it's saying it's a critical error logged in is not oh sorry I make a mistake to connect so it's connected now you are inside the virtual lab now you can upload any file or folders here let's suppose I want to upload this file so you can just drag and drop so it's uploaded successfully ok let's check this file exists or not so I'm going to log in, uh, check cd slash home slash anti virtual lab so you can find that file here ok if you do not want to install this FileZilla application, you can access this FTP server from your computer. Go to your uh, my computer and here type FTP colon colon and your IP address of your Kali Linux machine. Okay, so it will ask the username and password. So provide that, or you can access from your browser as well. So you can use same FTP colon 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 slash slash then IP address and T V I R T O A L lab and password. Okay, like that. If you want to upload something here, so let's upload a file. Paste simple copy paste. You can find this file inside your Kali like that okay so like that you can configure the FTP service on a Kali Linux machine if you are using some other like the Ubuntu or some someone else you can also use same method okay so thank you so much for watching this video like this video and subscribe my channel for more updates and do not forget to press that bell ring okay again thank you so much